My eighth and final fundamental principle for improving your chess is to dive in and get experience. Now, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you may have noticed that sometimes I'll give practical suggestions on what you can do to, to work on those things. If you've been doing those, great. If you haven't, then this one in particular is for you. Now, first thing first, you cannot replace experience. Uh, sometimes we get these grand ideas that we're just going to sit back and we're going to study and we're going to theorize and strategize and then we're going to show up game day and just be able to put all of it into practice beautifully. That is a great theory, but it is not going to work. The other part to this is that you need to gain experience both playing chess and studying chess. Sometimes we think that experience is just playing, but it is both, and you need to be doing both. If you don't study that much, then you're not going to be as comfortable with studying and knowing what to study. So that's where we see the experience there. Playing is because we, you know, we take all these ideas that we're working on and we're trying to improve and then we try to put them into practice. And that feeling of taking those ideas and trying to put it into practice and, and what that, that gives you cannot be found anywhere else. Uh, I know for myself that when it comes to openings in particular, right? I've, I've played some openings that are very complicated and require you to know a lot if you really want to play it right. And so I've spent long, long periods of time studying these openings, working with, you know, GMs that have the experience in these openings to help me know how I'm supposed to be playing them. But with every single opening, I can tell you 100% for sure it made a difference to actually play it. Just studying it and, and memorizing what to do and knowing what to do was great. But nothing could replace playing it. And that's usually when everything kind of came together. When the study came together and the actually being able to use it came together is when I actually started trying it. So as you think about everything, if you've, you know, if you've watched all these videos, if you're just, you know, working on chess and you have a lot of different ideas, well then this final principle hopefully is what you needed to hear. Um, that you just need to dive in. You need to get that experience. You need to not be afraid to fail. Um, that is a part of getting experience. And, you know, it, I, I, can, I can remember for myself, you know, times that I've been afraid and I've been worried of, of trying something new. Um, and I was never able to conquer that fear until I went and did. Um, usually just sitting back and, and continuing to, to theorize, continuing to study could help, but fully overcoming that fear and some of that uncertainty came when I went and did, when I went and gained the experience of doing it. So take everything that I've talked about, take some of the, the suggestions that you've heard and, and, and do them. And above all, don't be afraid, dive in and gain experience. Well, this, this concludes my, my eight fundamental principles. I hope you enjoyed and that it helps you. If you uh, have any part of it that you want a little bit of clarification on, feel free to reach out to me and, you know, just see what happens next, see what I put out next. But thank you for watching.